There's a look at Chris Flexen. He's on the mound for his 17th start, 19th appearance, looking for his third win with an ERA up over five. He's had a hard time keeping the ball in the ballpark, and that's a good trick against these Twins. He also has some difficulty with left-handers, and the Twins have five of them in the lineup. Willie Castro will lead things off. The Twins had that walk-off win yesterday afternoon. It was a happy flight here to Chicago. First pitch swinging. Castro will send that through. That's going to go into center field. A ground ball single for Willie Castro on the first pitch of the game. Definitely got to like that. Willie coming out, setting the tone for the offense. Like Morney said, this is a familiar pitcher, so no need to go up there as a leadoff hitter and, and try to have a good A.B. Here is the lone all-star selection for your Minnesota Twins, Carlos Correa. See the batting average on the season up over 300 with 45 runs batted in. Tapper back to the mound. This could be two. Flexen goes to second. And Lopez makes the adjustment on the low throw to get two. Yeah, that's a great job by Lopez. He got to the base and had to dig that out and backhand it all in the same motion. And then from that low position, got up and whipped a strike on the first base. That's an excellent job by Lopez. Twins are good. Season high, 12 games over. Fourth in the majors in runs per game at just under five. Trevor Larnick with a bomb to right field. Sheets going back. It's a home run. Trevor Larnick. You better call your mama right now, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. Larnick with his eighth home run of the season came with two outs and the Twins are on the board on the south side of Chicago. And the home run streak continues. This one just below belt high above the knees and the Twins have a one nothing lead 26 consecutive games now with a home run for the Twins. That brings up the player of the week Jose Miranda at the plate. 2 2 smoked in the air straight. Central and it's going to be caught by Jokes on the warning track. Well, Miranda got a hold of that one, 97 off the bat. Chris Paddock just activated from the injured list on for his 16th start, his ERA five and a quarter. There you look at the rest of the numbers. Command is good. He will strike out a whole lot of guys, but he was on the injured list because of arm fatigue. Lenin living the dream, Sosa. What an opportunity he has, and he is making the most of it. This one hits sharply to short one hop. Correa snags it off to his left, throws across, and there's one down. The one away, and that'll bring up Andrew Benatendi. Benatendi, buck 97, six homers and 24 runs batted in. So this one lofted in the air towards left field. Walner drifting over towards the line. Fair territory, makes the catch before he hits the dirt over there. And there are two away. And it's up to Andrew Vaughn to keep the first inning going for the Sox. Swing and a miss on a changeup. And Paddock strikes out Vaughn. And now Correa with two out and Matt Walner at third base. You know, he's not worrying about that foot injury that he had last year. Also had a normal offseason. I think this year he came into the year with a chip on his shoulder. Had a subpar season last year. And I think he wanted to remind everybody, hey, I'm still that guy. I'm the guy that, you know, you guys gave or the Twins gave $200 million to. Called strike three on a change. He was not looking for that one. Lopez on first base. The first walk of the game for Paddock. That brings Corey Jolks to the plate. Jolks in center field. Originally, Tommy Pham was listed as the center fielder for the White Sox. But he has some kind of a dental issue. Bouncer to short. Correa goes to second for one. The relay in time. They get the double play. Jolks is out at first. This is it's so his footwork is so good. And there's very few guys that can throw the ball on a double play with this much velocity and get it out of their glove this quick. Our team batting 101. Last two games, three for nine with a homer, a double, and four knocked in. Yeah, basically his whole season has been the last few games. It's this one well to left center. Looking up, and he done it! Martin Maldonado! How about him setting off the fireworks? Tying the game at one apiece here in the third for Maldonado. His third bomb of the season. He hit the daylight side of that to left center field, and just like that, we got a game tied at one. So Larnick draws a leadoff walk to open the fourth. Here's Miranda. They tap her to third, trying to get a double play started. One, now they get two. Nicely started by Lenin Sosa. Now that's been convenient on a couple of occasions now. 
leadoff man to start the game rolled up into a double play this number two hitter did and now leadoff man reaches here in the fourth and that double play eliminates him. So. A line drive in a right field for Max Kepler he's going to turn and take two a double by Kepler with two down and that is career double number 200 for Max Kepler. I'm sure somebody will hand it to him after the game and go. This is your 200 double and he'll go oh I had no idea. Maybe he knew he was at 199. Maybe <laughs> that's why he was you know slowing up coming around for his base. But now you have some concerns and the concern is the guy coming up is Byron Buxton who now is seven for ten lifetime against Flexen. Ground ball third base that's going to be fair. Pass the third baseman Kepler around third he'll score Buck into second base and the Twins back on top lead two to one. This is a fastball to a guy who's hitting 700 against you. And why they came after him with a fastball down the middle beyond me. Swing and a liner caught. Leaping catch by Lopez at second base. What a catch from Lopez as Lee hit it right on the button for the third out. But the Twins get one. Third K for Flexen. Two down here in the fifth. Here is Willie Castro, one for two tonight. Here's that curveball and hit into right field by Castro. He'll take the big turn, and he's trying to go to two. Sheets with the throw on the money. Gavin Sheets guns down Castro from right field. All a matter of if the tab was on him, and it was. What a play. White Sox trying to solve the mystery that is Minnesota. 0-7 so far against the Twins this season. This one is smoked in the right center. Nicky Lopez, who was off with the pitch, they're going to wave him in. Here he comes, the throw to the play, safe! An RBI double from Corey Jokes, and this game is tied at two here in the fifth. Jimenez singled in his last trip. He grounded out back in the second. Benintendi's at third, Vaughn's at second. 2-2 two, two tie, sixth inning, infield in. And Eloy comes through. They're going to hold Vaughn at third, but Benintendi scores. And the White Sox take their first lead of the game, an RBI single for Eloy Jimenez. 3-2 White Sox in the sixth, trying to tack on now. A chopper over the first baseman's head, and it gets through. Vaughn scores. And the White Sox take a 4-2 lead here in the sixth. Third hit in the sixth inning for the White Sox. There goes Nicky Lopez. They throw down a second and nobody home. Castro makes a diving play to stop it. And the ball goes off the mound. And the White Sox take advantage of some little league play. Yeah, wow. that, there five was to two. A whole lot of something going on there, right? So the double to start things off here. Second double of the game for Byron Buxton. And here comes Brooks Lee, who's 0 for 2. Lee flew out to center, line to second. Lee with a line drive shot into right field. Buxton absolutely flew around third base. He'll score easily. And Brooks Lee continues his hot start in the big leagues. Now a sixth consecutive game with a hit to start his career. We talked very early in this game about the uh, bullpen issues for the Sox. They have had a lot of trouble holding late leads. Mahler swings and rifles one. Justin Morneau, there you go. There's your deep shot. Matt Walner rifles a two-run home run to right field. You were talking earlier about maybe that's the, where you sit in front of your locker and go, boy, they brought in the wrong guy at this time. You know, we had a three-run lead. This guy just came up from the minor leagues. Oh, he took another big swing. Correa deep to left field. Benintendi back at the wall. Jordan Leisure's welcome back to the big leagues didn't turn out too well. Here's Nicky Lopez who has walked it into a fielder's choice. A blooper and it gets down. Nicky Lopez rounds first going a second. And Harvey High double for Nicky Lopez ties the game at six. Let's go Nicky. Ben Intendi now bats with two outs. Ninth inning tied at six. This one popped up. Left side, Correa, the shortstop on the grass, now on the dirt, and he'll put it away, and that means we get extra baseball. Infield has to play in against the rookie, Lee, who bats right-handed. Line drive right at the middle into center field. Brooks Lee delivers. The Twins have the go-ahead run. 
Margot swings, puts it in place. Sosa's going to have to hurry, gets the out, but the run scores. Buxton crossed the plate, and the Twins get two so far in the 11th. So two down here in the 11th, the batter, Corey Lee. Last chance for the Sox, trailing by two. Little jam shot, going to be one opted to Moran. He'll take it himself, steps on the bag, and the Twins win the opener here against the Chicago White Sox. Eight to six, final score.